This is going to be video three here. So um, first off here, I'm going to make sure, I don't think I've saved my file. I'm going to save this here. So this is Mousetrap Car. This is probably like version 3.0. Okay, I saved my file there. Uh, I'm still in offline mode. That's fine. Um, this is just saving on my computer. Uh, I want to make sure I'm on my top component now. So what I mean by that here, activate this component, little dot right there, the browser right here. I want to activate that component. I'm going to go to create new component. Once I create a new component here, I'm going to title this, uh, we're going to title this front side. So if I'm looking back at my measurements and on this page here, front side, length is 10, height is 1, thickness is an 8, 1 8. Okay, so on here, front side, I just like to keep it organized here. Um, parent selected, this is the parent. Okay, and then click OK. Um, now I'm going to create a sketch. So create sketch, and I want to do it on this plane right here. So I want to make sure that I get this, that red line. I want to make sure the red line, I can zoom in on here, but I want to make sure that red line locks on that plane. Select that plane right there. Then I'm going to zoom out a little bit, and I'm using a mouse because this helps out quite a bit here. P for project. I want to project on here, 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 okay, all these little spots here. This is going to project your drawing on there. So I selected all those across. I click OK. And you can see what here, it gives me a little filter going all the way across. Excellent. Then I'm going to draw a rectangle. This is pretty quick and simple here. I'm going to draw a rectangle all the way across and drag it downward. Um, and I can drag it downward like that. I can go back to my front view here to get it better. And then I can dimension this out, so D for dimension. And if I look at my measurements again, the height is going to be 1 inch, and the length should already be 10. But let's just double check. So D for dimension, boom, boom. Now I'll do 1 inch. Okay, and then let's check this here, D for dimension. And this one here should be on 10 inches. So 10 inches, excellent. Um, Hey, then I'm going to go ahead and create my holes right now, so where I want my wheels to go. Um, and our holes um, are going to be roughly right around here, and then one right around here too. Uh, I'm going to mark these up at an eighth of an inch, and I believe that is correct for um, our diameter of our axles. Um, and I'll have to remeasure those to make sure. But these, so I'm going to go to my front view. Um, I'm going to go escape. I'm going to go to my line tool, so L for line, and then I'm going to go to my sketch palette here. I'm going to do a construction line. Uh, I want this to go up, okay, so I'm going to go up here, draw a line straight up, and I want this to go up. I'm going to say um, we're going to go an eighth, uh, let's go point, let's go point two up. So point two up gives me a line, okay. Then I want to dimension that line there, so D for dimension. That distance here, I want to make it exact. Uh, I'm going to go 0.5 for a half an inch. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side here. So L up, okay, anywhere up, draw this up, 0.2, enter. And then I'm going to dimension this distance here. I want to make that 0.5. And okay, that's where I'm going to put my circle. And then simply here, I'm going to take circle here and select a circle. And this here is going to be 0.125. Enter. And then same thing on this side. Um, I'm actually going to make mine a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to Command Z undo that there. I'm going to zoom in on that circle diameter. And this here, I'm actually going to change line type here, C. I want to make sure I'm on my regular line. And I'm going to go 0.25, Enter. And then this one here, I'm going to go C, uh, 0.25, Enter. I think that might be a little bit big, but we'll have to measure our axles and just ch double check that to make sure that's okay. Um, and then um, I can fi I should be able to finish my sketch. Finish your sketch. That pops out. Um, I'm going to go home view. See that? I want to extrude this now, E for extrude. And I'm going to extrude it inward. So I'm going to select these pieces here. I want to cut that. This is going to be negative ply. Or negative, sorry, uh, negative thickness. And it pops out like that. Pretty simple. Um, and then uh, I'm going to cut that. We go back to my top component so I can see everything. I can go to inspect and I can display component colors. And you should see two different colors for your components right there. That looks excellent.
Um, and I can, if you want to, you can delete these sketch lines here too. If you want to clean that up a bit, I'm just going to clean that up a bit so I don't see all these random lines on there, like so. And that's my X, Y, and Z axis there. That looks amazing. You can shift around, hold the shift key and move around here. Uh, I'm going to mirror this to the other side. So I'm on my top component. I'm going to go to create. I'm going to go to mirror. I want to mirror a component. Okay, so object type is component, this component. And I want to select my mirror line and simply here. And then click OK. And then that's the end of this video.